This community is really special. There's a lot of people who are incredibly driven. These people are the craziest, most amazing Alberta burners that you've ever seen. This is freezer burn. We love it here. We just love it here. It's a magical experience. Every person here is a star. This place inspires you to be better than you thought you could be. What a better place to be in a beautiful setting in the summertime, um, sharing moments with, uh, with your friends and with strangers, and getting a lot of love back for giving a lot of love out. All humans are really looking for in their lives is community. I think they're looking for love and they're looking for community, and we have it here. This is our community. at freezer burn. In the middle of a field. Uh, it's just outside of Pinoca, Alberta. With 600 other freaks. In <laughs> the middle of nowhere. <laughs> freezer burn is a regional offshoot of Burning Man that celebrates everything art and culture related to Burning Man. I'm no longer a virgin. <laughs> Are you guys, this is your first year? For first year. Your yeah. first year. I'm gonna have to ask you to step out of the car. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna fit well through that hoop. Um, but let's, you're in free camping, yeah. What do I do? Woo! Oh! Woo! <laughs> Welcome to Welcome Free Nepal! Woo! Oh! Oh! First year! Oh! Archie! Yes! Yes! Hello! You know, we used to have little get togethers really, really informal at people's houses and just trying to gather people and sort of like stir the pot and be like, hey freaks, let's all come hang out and do fun shit together and... And it was just like 10 of us, like 10, 10 people. And all the tribes or the groups of friends or whatever you want to call them came together for the first time uh, with a common focus of Burning Man. There was 75 people. 75 of us sitting around like a, <laughs> like a fire pit and like, woo, first burn, our first burn. We doubled in 2009 and we've essentially just been sort of doubling and then by the hundred ever since. And now we have 700 people here. This is amazing. Because we're doing things smarter. We're doing things more efficiently sometimes. Welcome to the Space Gnomes Freezer Burn Variety Show! What? This is going to be crazy. What? You got, there's musicians. There's comedy acts. There's dancers. Uh, musicians. And comedy acts. And dancers. And musicians also. Alright, yeah, heads up! This is a family friendly event. So you're gonna see the parts of people's bodies that make families. <laughs> It is Burning Man with a hundredth of the people. And you can feel it when you're here, you can feel it in the culture. It is a fulfilling experience in so many ways. It's so creative and it's so absurd at times that it kind of recharges you. You play and experience and dance and just go nuts and uh, lets you get on uh, and out into the, the universe and then contribute back in the default world. Newbies when they come, there's people who have told me that it has changed their life. It's very, it's very similar to Burning Man in that way.
We're in the middle of this beautiful elk farm with trees and water and grass, but we are in the middle of a giant thunderstorm about to blow and it tests us. It, it, it strips us down and it makes us really understand who we are when we're under these stressful situations. Right oh, here comes the rain here, right there. You yeah, see the heavy you rain? see the heavy rain. Look at that, hey. Oh, look at it. It's wow. a little frightening. It is. We have every year at Freezer Burn everything from hot scorching sun to freezing cold rain. It hasn't snowed yet, shockingly. Apparently that is super nasty. <laughs> so we're just getting ready for anything. Here it comes. When it rains today, people will continue to set up in the rain as they do every single year. It's not the first day of Freezer Burn if it doesn't rain. And then the sun will come out and everybody will rejoice extra hard because the rain has stopped. The thing that makes this community so special is that aspect of acceptance and feeling like you can belong. You can just bring who you are and what you are. And not only is it, not only are you invited to do so, you're encouraged to do so. There's a lot of support and networks and people really, you know, not just about let's all have a group of party friends together and we just hang out, you know, on, on Friday night or something like that, but it's actually people that support each other in life and all the ups and downs of it. I found friendship in here, I find love in here, I find energy in here, both to give and take. And it's, it's such an amazing place to be where you can feel like you can go somewhere and belong. Why is Fraser Burn so special? Because of the people who come here and build it and make it. I see more and more happening. I see more detail. I see more, more passion. I see more people stepping up and maturing. It seems bigger every year. <laughs> I don't know. So, that, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, the sky's the limit, I guess. Every year I'm blown away by what people create. And I think, I mean, the only thing that's holding us back for the most part is probably dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Burning Man and the community isn't just about this group of people, but it's also about stretching it out to, you know, how can we have more of an effect on other people in the world as well and show other people too that they can sort of break down some of the barriers that they have that might be um, getting in the way of them living a fuller life. Uh, we're now doing some civic action stuff where we're, we're donating food to the homeless, we're cooking meals, we're doing like garbage pickups in the, we call it the default world, you know, just the regular city uh, life. And we're trying to bring a bit of Burning Man and Freezer Burn to, uh, kind of to the world. I think honestly, if we, if we can keep this going, this is a force of change in the right direction. And as Larry Harvey said, the future is in the regionals. And if there's going to be another burn outside of the Black Rock one, it's going to be in Canada. And we are the ones who are going to make it happen. Co-producer. 
co-producer. Property owner. Ticketing. Head of DPW. Greeter. Greeter. Ranger. Ranger. Media manager. Oracle. Effigy builder. Temple, Temple builders. builders. Lamplighters. Artists. Our grand team. Party host. Bartender. DJ. I make bacon. Woo! Participant. Mom. Uh, Kidsville lead. Kids. Father, daughter. I'm an expresso grandmother. I'm in charge of all pyrotechnics on site. Fire safety lead. Chief inspiration officer. Builder. <laughs> Mentor. I'm the instigator. <laughs> I am the regional contact for Alberta, and I am Zoltan, Lord of Three. Ha <laughs> ha.